hi aquarius welcome back to my channel thank you all for being here this is going to be for aquarius sun moon rising venus and north node i hope everybody has had a good thanksgiving i hope you guys ate well um this is just going to be a general love reading for you aquarius so let's see what's going on with you in love um please remember to flip the roles you know, reverse the roles if you need to. I could be talking about your person here if it doesn't resonate for you. But, you know, take what resonates and leave what does not. If this is not your story, it's just not your story, okay? I have other videos on my channel um, in my Aquarius playlist for you guys. There's plenty of other things that might resonate with you, okay? And also remember to check your moon and rising in, um, in your north node. And just check all your placements. I mean, it might put a story together for you, okay? Um... So when I was meditating over your energy, I kind of like saw somebody bust in a room or something. And it's like they were pissed. Like somebody was like, I heard like after everything that I've done for you, you're really going to do this to me. And somebody just somebody somebody got betrayed here. That was a big ending. So let's just see what comes out in the cards. Hmm, somebody is fed up with somebody's bullshit. Let me move my microphone over here. Okay, yeah. Somebody somebody is fed up with someone's crap. Okay, so let's see. These events can be past, present, or future for you guys. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, angels, allow me to be the channel for Aquarius. Okay, give me clear, honest, and accurate messages. bottom of the deck we have fathers so a father figure here somebody could have kids this could actually be your father um somebody of authority here i'm hearing like you have to set you had to set boundaries with someone so some of you all could be a father this could be a person that's the father somebody could also be a bit overbearing like they could be um, what's the word I'm looking for? They could be very controlling here. What else for Aquarius? Spirit and love. Ancestor. Hmm. Some of you guys have your ancestors surrounding you. They're trying to send you messages here. It's time for you to maybe make a wise decision about something. I feel like I feel like some of you all are here to break some type of generational curse here. There could be curses or something put on your family that you're needing to break. And your ancestors are trying to guide you. Let's see what else for um Aquarius. There's an ancestor, a particular one that's trying to guide you. Then we have wedding. So some of you all could be married or somebody wants to get married to you. They want to come into union with you. This could be a soulmate connection. Maybe your ancestors are trying to guide you to this connection here. Some of you, your person could be, you know, stuck in a marriage. Okay. They could have kids with this person that they're stuck with. And the ancestors are trying to guide them out of it. So let's see. What else for Aquarius? Spirit. All right. Cheat. Yeah, somebody cheated. Somebody was dishonest about something. So somebody stepped out on a marriage or a high level of commitment. Then we have service. Hmm. So maybe somebody wants to be of, of service to you now. Then we, Yeah, then we have lover at the bottom. So for some of you, I'm hearing multiple stories actually. But for some of you, your person could have kids or you, you could be the one that has kids, Aquarius. And you're stuck in a marriage that your ancestors are trying to guide you out of. Maybe there's some type of, I don't know why I'm hearing curse or something that's been put on you or your family that you're needing to break through. Okay, this person cheated on you and you were really being of service to this person, giving them everything that they needed. I mean, you were completely submissive to this person and they cheated on you. And then I'm hearing um, your ancestors are trying to guide you maybe to somebody that you have a soulmate connection to a soulmate tied to or it could be a twin flame for some of you that's going to lead to marriage and somebody maybe chose another person over you that was the cheating even though you weren't with this person it's just the principle <laughs> it still feels like cheating huh especially if you have a a soul bond to this person it can feel like they cheated on you it can really feel like that 
Um, but I feel like maybe somebody wants to come and be a service uh, to you. There could have been a choice between peop uh, two people here with the lovers at the bottom. But yeah, there's a strong connection here. Yeah, the devil. Capricorn energy. So let's see. Spirit, why is Father here? I have a couple decks I'm going to pull from, guys, okay? To get even more clarification at the end. So why is um, Father here, Spirit, for Aquarius? Yeah, two of cups at the bottom. So there is mutual love here in a situation. There's a union that is very um, strong. Bottom of the deck, Taurus. So Taurus could be significant. Somebody could have Taurus, a Taurus moon with the moon card here. Somebody have a Cancer moon with Taurus in their big three or something. But let's see. Why is Father here for Aquarius? Why is Father here for Aquarius spirit? Okay. Why is Father here for Aquarius? Yeah, this is giving me... The King of Swords energy. That's your energy, Aquarius. Then we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like for some of you, this, this could be you, Aquarius. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. You had to set your boundaries with something. Yeah, you set really strong boundaries, maybe with your baby mother or a, a, a feminine energy. That's somebody that's in your energy right now. You set boundaries with this person. You cut them off, I feel. I feel like um, you were very stressed dealing with this person. You're tired. You're needing to rest. Okay. You could be healing from this, whatever this is, whoever you cut out of your life. I feel like you told someone off. Okay. You told someone how you felt straight up <laughs> and you set boundaries because somebody here was dishonest. Somebody here was disloyal to you. They stole something. They did something to you. They cheated. They, for a lot of you, I feel like you had a plan all along to leave this person, but I just feel like whatever this is, actually pushed you out of this cycle here whatever this is yeah because it was too much confusion like i feel like you were completely guarded to this person because there were some secrets here like i feel like you knew it intuitively but you didn't have any proof maybe and so maybe somebody found out something for some of you yeah because i'm feeling other energy okay for some of you, you and your actual person, because this could be another situation, <laughs> okay? But for some of you, you and your person are not talking because they set boundaries with you. You could be a father figure or they could be, but this feminine energy could be set boundaries with you. You and your person are not speaking right now because somebody did something deceptive here. Somebody needs to heal from a situation. Let's see. Why is this Queen of Swords here? Who is this? Queen of Swords. What is the energy surrounding this Queen of Swords? Yeah, somebody went completely cold on somebody. Three of Cups. So this Queen of Swords could be a third party. Or maybe this is somebody that you want to reconcile with. Maybe you had a good time with this person at once upon a time. Let's see. What else for the Queen of Swords? Three of Wands. The ace of swords here so this if this is some type of court situation here it's going to be things are going to be working out in your favor as well aquarius um yeah we got the three of wands and the three of cups so definitely i'm feeling third party energy most definitely but i feel like somebody is going towards this person here you could be going towards a union with this person a reunion of some sort there could be travel involved. You might have to travel to see this person here. I feel I feel like somebody is planning something. We're going to clarify the Seven of Swords. They're thinking. They're trying to be strategic with their moves here. Let's see. Um, the three of, uh, three of Wands talks about leaving the past in the past and looking to the future. So I feel like somebody is on their way to reconcile with you. Maybe somebody had to leave something in their past. There was some type of deception or lies here. This person could be waiting for you to reconcile with them or this is you waiting for your person to come towards you to reconcile You're waiting for something to come in. Let's see. What is this three of wands here with this queen of swords and the three of cups? Five of wands in reverse, so <laughs> you could be waiting for somebody to 
get out of their head maybe or this is what you're leaving behind you're leaving behind the five of wands so i feel like somebody's actually moving even though this this person is standing still right now i feel like this, there's movement here i do feel like the energy of, of it being movement and somebody wants to come out of conflict with you they're coming towards you to come out of conflict with you to resolve things to find a resolution to the drama that was going on with you and them for this reconciliation um I'm hearing somebody is leaving people behind okay they're they're leaving this drama behind whatever this is this person could have put you in competition with another person and there could be some some drama surrounding you and this person's connection what else what is three of one uh, yeah three of wands with the five of wands yeah three of swords I felt that energy too so yeah somebody somebody is heartbroken and i feel like yeah somebody had a choice between two people and maybe they chose their family their friends it could be a job they chose over you it could be another lover it could be anything but yeah there was heartbreak here there was betrayal and somebody is leaving this behind i feel so let's see what is this seven of swords four of cups one more for the seven of swords north node okay yeah somebody like i said somebody is strategically planning to go towards their purpose here somebody is planning something they're trying to be strategic they're they're being silent they're moving in silence right now they don't they don't want to talk about it they don't want to nobody to know about it they're because i feel like somebody there's somebody here that fucked up somebody's plans to do something there's somebody here that intentionally fucked up some plans yeah i feel like also you guys could be seeing 444 four, four, but also there is like a sense of somebody not wanting to miss an opportunity if they don't plan strategically and do this the right way they're going to miss an opportunity i feel and somebody does not want to miss out on their i mean you really can't miss out on what's what's faded for you okay but somebody feels like they need to be sneaky what else for the seven of swords and the four of cups spirit please for aquarius the moon okay somebody have a cancer pisces scorpio moon what else for the seven of swords in the four of cups three of pentacles yeah somebody is trying to get the fuck away from this th third party situation because i feel like they missed an opportunity with this person already this person that they actually want to move towards they missed an opportunity but there was definitely some deceit or some lies here and a big ass argument that kind of like pushed somebody out of this shit they're like i can't fuck with this no more i'm leaving this behind me i don't have time to deal with this i don't so somebody is trying to get the fuck on and they're planning accordingly yeah the judgment does talk about um renewal it, it talks about somebody being homesick so somebody feels like home to somebody somebody wants to go back home somebody has a strong connection to someone else and they feel like home to that person and that person feels like home to them okay yeah so something here was just not working with the three of pentacles in reverse for some of you it could be a business situation where you were working with your lover at one point and it just was not working somewhere somebody was stuck somewhere where they couldn't grow they couldn't expand okay and somebody realized that realized that they missed an opportunity with the one that they're supposed to be with here whoever this is and it's faded or destined energy that they're supposed to be with they missed an opportunity so i feel like they're in their their feelings here they're ready to make this move but they have to be strategic with leaving this third party because this third party is evil <laughs> i really do feel like this third party is just weird okay it's been coming up in readings a lot yeah somebody was too focused on their past here what is this four swords yeah so th with the judgment here and then we have south node in the world so yeah something from someone's past closed so they can go towards a divine feminine could be a taurus or libra a karmic situation has closed out somebody has learned a karmic lesson somebody is being rewarded for learning their karmic lesson and now judgment is here could be a libra leo scorpio another aquarius that you're dealing with or a um like i said a taurus 
but the judgment does talk about renewal it talks about actual judgment this person somebody here could be getting judged harshly by other people around them because they're moving forward a lot of people are not going to like this and that's okay when you change for the better that's what happens you're going to have a lot of people that just don't like you anymore <laughs> and that's fine it's, they're not meant to come with you anyway okay i think somebody is realizing that they're awakening to that they're seeing people for who they really are so let's see why is um ancestor here spirit why is ancestor here somebody is being divinely guided yeah, we have Queen of Cups. So there could be a feminine that passed away here for someone that is watching over them. Okay. The generational curse could be something emotional for someone. There, there could be um, emotional abuse or something. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Someone is healing from maybe emotional abuse, trying to balance their trying to set healthy boundaries somebody doesn't maybe that doesn't know how to set uh healthy boundaries okay and i feel like somebody is learning how to get in tune with their emotions and to be vulnerable that's what i meant to say but yeah with the queen let's see what else for ancestors before i start talking what else for ancestor spirit for aquarius virgo virgo could be significant Somebody could have a Virgo moon. What else for ancestors? The devil and the two of swords. Yeah. Yeah. Capricorn could be significant. So, yeah, I see two queens here. So, definitely could be a choice between two. Okay. You guys could be seeing two, two, two as well. Somebody was confused about something. Somebody was really stuck in their head. Really, really. There was some type of toxic attachment that somebody had here. I feel like somebody's own thoughts was their, they sabotaged themselves. But I feel like somebody else was in this energy of helping them to do so. Somebody wanted to sabotage an opportunity that you had to go towards maybe somebody that's very loving, compassionate, very caring here. Very, this person is very psychic. So yeah, some of you guys are definitely getting psychic, um, getting intuitive downloads at this time from your ancestors your spirit guides like you're being guided towards something here and you need to really pay attention you guys could be dreaming as well getting um telepathic communication from your person or you could be getting some insights through your dreams so really pay attention to your dreams at this time hmm yeah, somebody was completely closed off to being vulnerable and somebody was completely attached to some type of toxicity. Let's let's clarify. Could be a toxic person or a thing or whatever. Somebody could have addictions here. Somebody was completely in denial about how they felt for someone too. So let's see, why is Queen of Cups here, Spirit? Who is this Queen of Cups? The King of Cups. Wow, in reverse. So yeah, this is you and your person here, I feel like Aquarius, but somebody here was, was closed off. Somebody was stuck and somebody was very emotionally, um, what is it? Closed off? Uh, there's another word I wanted to say. I can't think of it right now. Somebody was emotionally manipulative. Yeah. And somebody wasn't being devoted to a situation. Somebody was very caring here, but the other was, very, was completely closed off wow you and your person came out <laughs> um so let's let's see let's keep going what is this two of swords spirit temperance in reverse sagittarius energy so somebody yeah somebody needed to heal something somebody needed to heal something because they were attached to something um they were very unbalanced emotionally as well in their mental too somebody has a mental Somebody gets really, really bad anxiety or something, I'm hearing. Somebody has a mental disorder of some sort. What else for this two of swords? Somebody was impatient with something too. Ace of Cups, yeah. Came out sideways. So somebody was not really seeing a situation for what it was. There was a lot of love in a situation, but it didn't move forward because someone was unhealed. Someone was not balanced. Someone was not, didn't have their shit together.
yeah, it was definitely an offer here that was being presented. And somebody just could not see it for what it was. What is this devil energy? What is this devil card spirit for Aquarius? South node. Yeah, somebody was stuck in karmic energy in the world. So yeah, this closed out. Whatever this was closed out. This cycle closed and now someone is coming in with a romantic gesture, a romantic offer. You're not going to see this person coming when they do come. But yeah, this cycle of whatever this is that was toxic could be another person that somebody was involved with, family members, a job, whatever. It's closing out. This is closing out completely. You completed a cycle. It's done for. Somebody. I feel like this is past energy, but somebody could still be needing to heal, though. Okay. Somebody could still be needing to do some healing. Who is this King of Cups in reverse? Well, I know who it is. It's your person. Or this is. Yeah. Y'all know what I mean. But who is this King of Cups? The will of fortune yeah so this is somebody you're destined to be with here this is faded you and this person are fated to be together yeah but they were not ready at this time somebody was just not ready to be all that you needed them to be here you've seen the potential you know that this person could be that but they just they were not balanced to the emotions was they were emotionally immature too that's what i wanted to say they they were i don't know they were not at the, at, at you met them at the wrong time, basically. Right person, wrong time. And that definitely is a thing. I know people say, well, if it's the right person, it wouldn't be the wrong time. No, <laughs> that's not true. It's not. Some people are worth the wait, okay? Just saying. Y'all might not agree with it. You don't actually sit and wait and put your life on hold for this person. But you, y'all know what it is. You know that it's your person, though, at the end of the day. So, yeah, I mean, go, go date. You know, you can't put your life on hold for this person if you find someone else in the process. Hey, but if you two are meant to be together, trust and believe spirit is going to break whatever this is that you have with a new person. <laughs> OK, if they're not meant for you, they just, you know, for a short term thing, then spirit is going to break it up so you can be with the person you're meant to be with. That's just period. But yeah, this person here. This person here is going through a lot of changes right now as well with the will of fortune they're they're being redirected i don't know why i heard that but they're being redirected they're working through their emotions at this time i feel there's 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 things that are shifting here this is a part of your destiny your fate there's karma here there's good karma so let's see what is wedding for aquarius excuse me five of cups what is wedding yeah somebody's in remorse and regret i feel like for a lot of you here you've been really disappointed in love just period two of cups yeah somebody is completely and utterly in love that's just period <laughs> what is wedding somebody death so yeah for a lot of you i do feel like there has been a uh ending being put to a marriage because you're definitely in love with someone else but there is a relationship here that is definitely transforming, though. Something is going through a death and rebirth. This, this union here, you and your person are going through a death and rebirth right now. But I do feel like for a lot of you, there was a marriage here that completely ended out and you're moving on. You're moving forward to somebody that you're supposed to be with. Yeah. What is this five of cups for Aquarius? Somebody is missing you. They, they feel like they fucked up with you and they did yeah the sun somebody is healing and then the two of cups again somebody is healing and coming out of this stagnant energy i feel with the sun being here with the five of cups somebody is finally realizing what what makes them happy what makes them feel good inside what really fuels them yeah somebody somebody sees that this relationship really makes them happy they're they've been enlightened about something and it's this love here. Somebody's realizing they're in love. What what is this five of cups? One more for the five of cups. Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, somebody's doing some reevaluating, some thinking. Um, thinking about investing in this, putting the time and effort in. Some of you could be waiting for this person, or they could be waiting for you. 
but I feel like someone is looking at their investments here. Someone is, is reevaluating as well. Something about finances. <laughs> I'm hearing somebody wants to actually propose to someone or offer someone something nice, but they're looking at their finances like, do I have enough? You know what I'm saying? What is the Seven of Pentacles for Aquarius Spirit? Judgment. Yeah, somebody is homesick, definitely. We got judgment twice. Or, no, we only got it one time. But I, I saw judgment here in the deck at the bottom at one point. So, yeah, we have judgment that came out here. Somebody is um wanting to come in to renew something here. They're being guided. There is This is faded here. Somebody is definitely reevaluating everything here. Whatever what, what they thought, whatever they thought once was is just not the same anymore. It's not um it's not what they thought it was. Yeah, a complete and total awakening with the sun and the judgment. <laughs> Somebody is woke, okay? So let's see, why is this death card here? I saw the ten of swords at the bottom. Yeah, you you've been stabbed in the back here, Aquarius. One too many times by someone. A Libra could be significant. Why is this death card here? Eight of Wands in reverse. So, yeah, so we have communication here, but communication here is in reverse. So whatever this is that ended here, you completely cut ties with this person. What is this Eight of Wands in reverse? The world and the ace of pentacles and the page of swords. Yeah. So you I feel like you stopped communication with someone here. I feel like for like if this is a third party, you stop communication with them, you slow that down. I mean, you just don't want to talk to that person no more. And um you stop communication with your person. But I do see you watching someone though. You and your person are definitely not talking right now. I see you watching someone though. You are watching someone. Um you could be learning a lot as well, maybe picking up a new skill or learning how to be someone's partner someone somebody here is learning how to be learning about love i feel like as well someone is learning how to communicate so the page of swords means communication so there's some somebody here that wants to talk to you they just don't know how with the eight of wands in reverse they don't know what to say they want to offer like i said something long term something solid something new okay a, a fresh start with the world here yeah, so there's a new cycle beginning here, Aquarius. This is a major arcana paired with this Ace of Pentacles. So this is going to lead to a long-term success, abundance, happiness. Okay, some of you all are really getting married, though. This is going to lead to, mar to marriage. I feel like also somebody here wants to take things a little bit slower. Because they see the bond that you guys have. They don't want to rush. But I do see them being sincere, though. Because if this is your person, they were not... They were just, they didn't see something clearly at first. This person could be younger than you. I feel like somebody also is seeing how impulsive they are. They're very impulsive, so they kind of like slow things down. Or there has been, there's definitely been delays in something here. Whatever the delay was is, is over, I feel like. Yeah, what is cheat? Why is cheat here for Aquarius? A Pisces could be significant. Why is cheat here for Aquarius? A Leo. <laughs> All these signs coming out. Leo, Pisces, Libra. Why is cheat here for Aquarius, Spirit? Venus. Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she here? Somebody can have a Leo, Pisces, or Libra, Venus. Why is she here? The Empress. Yeah, so it could be that somebody's baby mother cheated on them. Baby father doesn't have to be a female just because it's a feminine. Or somebody cheated on their Empress here. Somebody cheated on their Divine Feminine. Somebody stepped out and was being dishonest, disloyal. Yeah, somebody could have even been emotionally or physically unfaithful. That's still cheating. <laughs> in my book shit you need to come correct okay what else for cheat 
please, you know, not everybody's going to be perfect, obviously, but those parts of you, in order for a healthy relationship to come about, you need to have that together, okay? So I feel, I feel like for a lot of you, somebody was emotionally or still emotionally tied to someone, okay? Not that they have feelings for this person because they really, I feel like somebody knew who this person was. They just didn't want to see it. So they kept investing into a situation and they didn't listen to their intuition here. But somebody's emotions, they didn't really want to be with this person or really want to have anything to do with them. But they stay out of obligation. This could be the mother of their child or father of their child. I mean, yeah. What is cheat spirit? What else for cheat? The devil. Hmm. Devil came out twice. What else for cheat? Yeah, somebody was definitely in toxic energy. It could be a feminine energy too. It could be a feminine. Two of cups. Yeah. Yeah. Knight of swords. This is you rushing in. You want to give somebody something. You want to give equally to a situation. What um? What was I finna say? Yeah, so let's see. Who is this Empress? Who is this Empress for Aquarius spirit? A Scorpio. Scorpio could be significant. Who is this Empress? Six of Swords. Yeah, somebody that's traveling towards you here. Or you're, this is you, Aquarius, with the Six of Swords. This person they're you're traveling towards your empress so there could be some travel involved here there's been some delays with this eight of wands but i see i see movement i do see movement um you wanted to move things to calmer waters with this person because there was some toxic energy that got in the middle of between you two yeah what is this devil energy the star that's you, Aquarius. Yeah, so somebody is finally seeing something from a different perspective. They're making sacrifices and letting go of these toxic habits or addictions or whatever this is that got in the way of you two so they can heal this connection. Yeah. Somebody could be a Capricorn or another Aquarius. Somebody could have a Capricorn Venus. Or um, a Saturn, not a Saturn, but a Uranus. Somebody's some Aquarius could be in Uranus for someone. So let's keep going. Let's see. Somebody's just realizing they're in love now. They're trying to heal these their toxic ways. They're hoping and wishing and praying that when they come towards you, that this can be healed, this can be solved, and y'all can move on. Okay, somebody is is knows what their destined path is, and it's you. What is service here for Aquarius? The Hermit. Why is service here for Aquarius? Could be dealing with the Virgo. Cancer could be significant. What else for service for Aquarius? So we got Libra, Pisces, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio. Why is service here for Aquarius spirit? Oh my gosh. <laughs> These astrology cards keep coming out. Nine of Swords. What else for service for Aquarius? Damn, spirit. Okay. We got the fool. Somebody is scared shitless to take this leap of faith. <laughs> Somebody is in their head. They're, they're scared. Yes. Okay, baby. Give me a second. They're staying up late at night. They're really in their head because they want to be of service to you. They did completely and utterly. They want to submit their, they want to submit to you. This person, this person likes your body too a lot. But yeah, somebody actually wants to put in the work now. They want to actually do instead of the chit chat. Somebody wants to move. Okay. And so here they come. This is you Aquarius. This could be you taking this leap of faith towards maybe another Aquarius or Aries or something. A Virgo. Gemini, Libra, but yeah, so somebody is coming. They scared. They're in hermit mode right now because they're trying, I feel like they're trying to figure something out. They're trying to um, figure out if this is a wise decision and it is, okay, to come towards you. 
but they're scared. Let me see. Why is this nine of swords here for Aquarius? King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody could have lost some finances here. Somebody could be struggling financially right now. Give me a second. Yeah, and then I saw Constellation. So somebody's money is not looking too good right now. Somebody could have just got a divorce and their shit is not looking great. Okay. Um, this is what they could be stressed over. Okay, I'm trying to fix my area over here. What else for this Nine of Swords for Aquarius? Somebody knows that they've been disloyal too and dishonest. What else for this Nine of Swords? The lovers, yeah. <laughs> somebody somebody knows that they need to be honest about this choice between these two people that they had and they chose to go down the wrong path. Somebody needs to be honest and just talk about it. I feel like, you know, whoever they're going towards is going to be pretty understanding, okay? Even though it's fucked up, I feel like whoever this is knows already to regardless. So, you know, but somebody could be stressed about money. Somebody could actually need help, okay, with something. Yeah. Hmm. So what is the potential outcome for Aquarius? Pluto, so transformation. Page of Wands in reverse. What else for the outcome? The Chariot. What else for the outcome? The Magician. So let me see. What is this Page of Wands in reverse, Spirit? The Emperor, the Eight of Swords. Hmm. So the Page of Wands being clarified by the Emperor. It could be an Aries. There could be some children involved here because this is the father figure here. You could be the Divine Masculine or your person could be the Divine Masculine. There could be some bad news involving children here. Yeah, because the Page of Wands is somebody that's very, um, a bit childish. So I feel like this person is coming to tell you something here. They're coming to tell you maybe about an, uh, another authoritative figure. It could be a male or female. This is the empress to the empress or your person. So they're coming in to tell you something. I don't know. Let's let's. Yeah, they're coming in with the chariot. They're manifesting this new beginning with you. They're using all their resources to do so here. Somebody is determined to manifest you and get you back. Okay, that's that. Let me see something. What is this Page of Wands here in reverse with the Emperor for Aquarius? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, something about kids here. Somebody bossed up though. They're in their Emperor energy. Okay. But somebody... Somebody could have lost some children. What is this Emperor in reverse with the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Wands? The King of Swords in reverse. What the? Yes, yeah, so there, there's some, some like court situation. Yeah, with the Hierophant. There are some like court situations that didn't go in someone's favor. So somebody here, I feel like somebody is coming to tell you that somebody either that they were dealing with, things did not go well with them. Like if this was a court battle or something, something did not go in someone's favor at all. Doesn't have to be you. It could be a third party. It could be anybody. What else with this emperor with the page of wands in reverse, page of pentacles in reverse, king of swords in reverse? Huh, I'm trying to get to the bottom, uh, Aquarius. Four of wands, yeah. Something, something about maybe some child support or somebody's home. Okay, this is the twin flame card. So I feel like somebody's coming to give you news. It, like, for some of you, it might not be bad about you and your person. They could be coming to communicate with you about some type of news here about somebody immature that they were dealing with like i said it could be a baby mother baby father that cheated on them or did something and it could be something about some kids as well somebody could have lost their job or have a loss of finances or 
something here. Somebody was abusing their authority here with the King of Swords in reverse. Somebody was lying about something. Somebody could have lied about something in court here. Lied to the police about something. I don't know why I'm hearing all of this. But um, yeah, because the Four of Wands, somebody is going towards their twin. Yeah, with the Emperor and the Four of Wands here, somebody is going straight towards their twin with the Magician and the Chariot. They're going towards their twin, but there is some weird news that is coming in about something. And I feel like it's strongly involving kids here. Yeah, somebody, I don't know. Somebody's either having to pay out a lot in court or something like that. Y'all know the situation for y'all, you know. If it, if it sounds like it's resonating, then it is. Okay, so all the signs I feel like are here. So, excuse me, we're not going to worry about that. So let's pull some more. And let's see what else could be going on or what else comes out. So, yeah, this person is coming towards you. Now, I don't know if this person, this person might not have a lot to offer you. But I do feel like you and this person are kind of like meant to be together. Okay. Hmm. So, I don't know. I guess you guys will work that out when the time is presents itself. <laughs> for some of you, I don't know if you even want this person back. But that's for some of you. That's not going to be for everybody. Okay, spirit guides, angels. Hmm. This king of swords in reverse with the emperor upright, y'all. I'm over here thinking about <laughs> what this is. There's a lot happening. All right, spirit for Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, we have I like you, someone likes you, romance is blo blooming, fun flirting, want to date. Twin flames, yeah, you're twin. Yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Coffin, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Somebody could have just went through something in court. This is what's moving this person closer to you or so y'all can come into union because something ended here. Somebody, I feel like, wow, somebody did some stupid shit in court. I really feel that. Just leave me some comments to let me know. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Yeah. There could be a divorce too. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Yeah, something's transforming here. The dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. Oh, okay, it didn't even flip, I thought it did, but karmic relationship, feelings, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Yeah, somebody released the karmic. Definitely released the karmic, okay. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Then we have self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Self yeah, somebody has done a hell of a lot of um, shadow work here <laughs> to get to this point. I feel like a lot of work has had to be done here. And it probably took somebody forever to get out of this karmic cycle. <laughs> I really do feel like it did. So let's see. Let's get some more clarifiers. Let's see what else comes out for Aquarius spirit. For Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, we have clingy holding on, won't let go. Yeah, then we have wrong timing. It was the wrong time. And then making plans, yeah. So let's see. Somebody here, whoever this is, maybe in this cheater energy, is trying to cling on to your person or whatever. Or they're holding on to you. They ain't giving up on you at all. What else for Aquarius spirit? Retreat, get away, travel, new experiences, self-love, go within, treat yourself, shadow work. Yeah. Fear, holding back, overthinking. 
Yeah, that's about to change. It landed on, landed on lightning. That's about to change. Rejection. Mm -hmm. This person just landed over coffin. This person is rejecting whoever this is that they ended things with. They could have rejected you too, though, but they're rejecting whoever this is that, that they're ending things with. Or this could be you. What else? I love you. Mm hmm. <laughs> Pull over the seven of pentacles. Somebody is realizing that they love you. Nostalgia, past love, past memories, thinking about old times. Yep. Within a few weeks. Okay, something's coming within a few weeks. That came out, so it must be true for a lot of you. Overthinking, triggered, mental prison. Unconditional love. Attraction, wanting more insatiable thoughts. Divine feminine, yep. Regret, missing you, self-sabotage. Commitment, offer of loyalty, agreement. One more. Meditation, meditate, intuition, introspection. Bottom of the deck, lessons, self-development, self-growth. Yep, somebody grew up. Somebody grew up here, Aquarius. I love this energy. I love this energy. Something here was very toxic to begin with and it's closing out. You guys should go watch Taurus reading. Aquarius has been coming up a lot in Taurus's reading, so go watch that one. And Taurus has been coming up here a lot in this reading too. So let's see, Spirit. Let's get some messages. For Aquarius in their person. Let's see what comes out of this deck. We have, I almost picked up the phone to call you. Yeah, somebody's on the verge of doing so. But I feel like they're more action oriented. If this person knows where you live, I wouldn't be surprised if they pop up. <laughs> okay, I really wouldn't. I'm gathering courage to face my fears. I want to return, I want to reunite with you. Mm hmm. My past really did a number on me, but I'm healing. Yep. Financial situation. Yeah, somebody's finances is fucked up right now. I'm dealing with whoever this is. I keep hearing or seeing your name. I've been trying to forget you, but I can't. I'm sorry I let my pride get in the way. Divorce situation. Yep. Yeah, it has something to do with kids, too. Could be two kids. I just can't stop loving you, healing myself. If you give me another chance, I promise to make things right. And I drove by your house recently. Yeah, I told you. Then we have karmic partner situation. So yeah, somebody was dealing with a baby mother, baby father. I strongly believe that. Yeah, this person. <laughs> They stalk you. It's because they're in love with you, but they're not saying anything. They don't, I don't feel like they're doing it in a creepy way, but they just, they want to see if it's safe to come in, you know, to, to talk to you, to be with you. Cause I feel like now is the time. <laughs> I do feel like now is the time here within a few weeks, you know, um, a few is like three weeks could be, so could be another three weeks or three days. Ooh. Maybe three days. I don't know, guys. Okay, spirit for Aquarius. Let's get some more messages. And then we're going to close out. Eye of the storm. Calm and chaos. Mediator. Whirlwind of extreme emotions. Stay centered. Don't allow outside influences to disrupt your peace. Strong... Strengthen your auric field. Don't get sucked into drama caught in the middle. Okay, so yeah, this person, somebody here, or this is you, Aquarius. Somebody that has someone in their life is very dramatic. It's just karmic. <laughs> okay, that's that's what that is. This karmic is very dramatic. They, they like to start drama here. To each his own. Agree to disagree. Different opinions. Stay authentic. A right to your own feelings, thoughts, and opinions. Accept this person for who they are, not who you want them to be. Let go of your desire to change them. Okay. What else for Aquarius? This deck is called Vibrational Match Oracle. Oops. 
till death do us part marriage commitment loyalty sacred union forever mine playing for keeps surprise proposal the ultimate elopement oh some of y'all are getting elope uh, going to elope what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us oh Aquarius you need a person getting married <laughs> Synchronicity, signs from spirit, angels, meaningful connected ev events, mysterious coincidence, repeating numbers, signs, slow down and pay attention, tune in and decode the signs. You are aligning with the flow of the universe. Yeah, somebody's coming into alignment with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. This looks nice, Aquarius. So congratulations, shit. This looks good. You're moving forward. You're moving on. I'm proud of you guys. This is a much better reading than... um what you guys have been having so yeah congratulations if this resonated with you please like comment subscribe and turn on your notification bell and i will talk to you guys later bye